Previously on My Name is Undong. I will not give up until I can make hand pulled noodles like that. What a fool! <laughs> mm. For a first step on my noodle pulling journey, success. But this is just not as delicate as the Lanjo hand pulled noodles. You can do better, Undong. What's up guys, this is Andung. Welcome to part 2 of my quest to mastering the art of hand-pulled noodles. In the last video we made Biang Biang Mian, the easiest of all hand-pulled noodles. And in this one we really gotta take things up a notch. And I'm gonna need some help for this. Follow me. Hello. Hey everybody, say hello to Julian who is a fellow YouTuber and a fellow foodie. And a fellow Berliner. And a fellow Berliner, that's the most important thing. What's the name of your channel? Let's cook. What's the name of your channel? Let's cook. That's actually the name of this channel. I think it's finally time to reveal what we're cooking today. I don't even know it yet. <laughs> so today we are making... Oh. <laughs> so today we are making Lagman. Lagman is a Uyghur or Uzbek dish. Most people say Uyghur, but it's actually pronounced Uyghur. Uyghur food. <laughs> You, you already lost me. Okay, let me explain what the hell I'm talking about. The Uyghur people come from a place best known as Xinjiang in the northwest of China. But especially in the last couple of years, this has become a politically sensitive topic because the culture of the Uyghur people is actually a lot closer to that of the Turkic people in Central Asia. And when it comes to food, you can really feel the influence coming from both of these worlds. With freshly baked bread to almost every meal on the one hand and then Chinese flavors like soy sauce on the other. And Lagman is a perfect example of this culinary fusion. It's a meat and vegetable stew with, and this is the important part, hand pulled noodles. Mm. And the hand pulled noodles are made in this just insane and really creative way which we're gonna try today but first we gotta make the actual stew and there will be a full video about this recipe on Julian's channel in German by the way in German because Julian's channel is in German learn German so learn German <laughs> <laughs> no excuses all right Smells like Lachman. Smells like some delicious, mm. legit Lachman. Let's try so good. Let's try a little bit. It's extremely hot. Mmm. Oh, very good. <laughs> Did it work? Oh my god. Did it mm. burn you? Okay. Yes, yeah, but totally worth it. Now we're gonna head over to my studio and make the noodles to the soup so we can finally enjoy some Lachman. Let's pack up that soup first. How do we. Yeah, we didn't really think of that. It's still really hot. Hmm. <laughs> We're in Berlin, so this is one of the less weird things you will see on the street. No one's looking at all. Yeah. It's like normal street life. Lachman to go. My little Lachman baby. On a scale from 1 to 10, how hungry are you? <laughs> About a 12. <laughs> Step back. So dangerous? Yes. And so now, Lachman. 1, 2, 3. Did it work? Of course! Black one often comes with eggs, so we're basically making uh, egg noodles. Let me whisk this up just a little bit, okay? And to those two eggs, we're gonna add half a kilogram of flour. You can help me mixing Mix it, it in. in. Sure. Yeah. So half of a kilo. I'm just gonna add a little bit of salt to this. When are we gonna start pulling the noodle? We're gonna start pulling the noodle in about maybe 20 to 30 minutes. So what? it's like it's... I have to wait that long? Yeah. Just wait, wait for it, wait for it. <laughs> I'm looking forward to it. Yes, a little okay. bit more flour. Mm -hmm. Try this out a little more, bit. More, 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 more. <laughs> Whole table shaking. Wonderful. Dough. That's a dough. That's a dough. We're gonna let it rest for about 20 minutes. Mm -hmm. Let me cover this. Let me wash my hands and then I want to show you something. <laughs> So, I've been trying to build up some suspense when it comes to making Uyghur style hand pulled noodles and I uh, think you're ready to learn the secret. You found the master? I did. Hit play. Whoa. Oh, oh. That's what we're gonna do? That's exactly what we're gonna do. It looks insane, what? but this is just the beginning. Wait, wait, wait. That was the first round of stretching. This is the second round of stretching. Oh my God. I would like to, to, to do this to on a do party. This on a party, yeah. right? Hey guys, have you ever seen me pull a noodle? Oh but, man. But the impressive part is still ahead. Hold on, hold on. It gets more impressive than that. What the hell? 
what the hell is he doing? And that's still not the impressive part. That's not the impressive that's part. The, no, that's not the impressive part. Are you kidding part. me? Hold on, hold on, wait uh, for it. What? That is the impressive part. But what for? To make it even thinner and longer. Wow. It actually made me cry. Was that amazing? I'm trying. So touching. <laughs> it was the most beautiful thing I've ever seen. But did you master it already? I did not. <laughs> <laughs> We're gonna move to step two, which is just rolling out the dough. And we don't even have to roll it out very thinly. Just like this is fine. Mm -hmm. Looks to me like normal dough. Where's the magic gonna happen? There's no magic with this dough. Pure technique. Soft. Like a bed. We're gonna cut off a strip like this. And we're gonna roll it out like this into a thick sausage. This will be fine. And then hand coil our freshly rolled noodles on this plate. Mm. Like a snail. Like a galaxy. But the oil. Be more visionary. Yeah. <laughs> so you're gonna add some oil here. Mm -hmm. So the noodle don't stick. Exactly. We can now start coiling it up into this plate. And it's gonna look like an oily mess at first. Yeah, it does. <laughs> Here's another one. I really want to pull this as far as I can. It's it's not, I don't think it's gonna pull very far. The, the key... May the, I try? Sure. So far, it looks all right. Yeah. So far, so good, but this is a thick noodle. But it's not super even, see? It's like it's way thinner here mm -hmm. than up here. So yeah. I guess I didn't master the technique yet. Looks like a... Classic, traditional double snail noodle. We're gonna turn this into noodles. AP is here to film, which means things are gonna be much better now. So you remember the video, right? Yes. So step number one is, I guess we're taking one and we're doing a first pull. Yeah, let's do this. Uh, oh no, wait, she did like this. Oh yeah. Oh. This is not you can do good, better. Yes. But look, yeah. it works actually, until it breaks. So it's all about finding that sweet spot. Right? That's what I saw in the yes. video. You can do better. Not really about like. But this looks pretty good. This looks yeah, pretty good, I think. Yeah, natural talent for noodle pudding. Yeah, just I always knew it. Huh. You got the technique. I think I'm getting it. I yeah. think I'm slowly getting it. Just pulling a really long noodle. Uh -huh. Hasn't broken yet. Almost. Yes. Don't jinx it. Amazing. It's really all about the feel. It is. This is mastery. Yeah. You have to feel how thick the noodle is. <laughs> I think you can really feel why it's so important to shape them well in the first place. Yeah. Because now while we're pulling, the ones that where we were too lazy to shape them well, they're just breaking yeah. all over the place now. So I think there's no way we're doing one more pull, they're just gonna break. I would love to, but I don't think our noodles can handle it. We have to try still. We have to you try at least once <laughs> yes, to do true. the final pull. Believe in yourself. Okay. I did this, and this, and this. And this, and this, and oh my god, you almost made it. Kind of, kind of. A bit too rough on the noodle. It's a tender slap. Do, do a tender slap. Three, one, two, three. Go. Nice. How's it looking? It's sticking. <laughs> Stir the noodles. Do you want to do one? Yeah, if you teach me how. Like this? Pulling the next and the next. And then it's the really... Oh no, I dropped it. The tender slap? <laughs> I'm failing so hard at this. I'm not super comfortable about slapping that. Tender door. slap it! Tender slap it! No excuses! Oh, it works actually. Yes. It works really good. Nice! Another one? One more, one I'm more. Kind of... Yes! Another one? Go. I'm kind of addicted to slapping those <laughs> One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and, and, well, kind of eight. Yeah, that's the technique. That's the stuff. Bam. His noodle game is strong. Ooh, those look really nice. Getting better and better. And, wow, they look good. Proper. Black that's black. some nice and sludgy black one. Wow. Mm. 
The smell is just incredible. Mm. Top this with some cilantro. Mm -hmm. This has only taken us, what, like 10 hours? But 12 uh, more, I think. But yeah, but we finally have a bowl of lagman, and I think you should be the first. I have the honor of trying you the first You have the honor lagman. of trying it. It's gonna be my first lagman ever. My chopsticks are really slippery. Let's try this one. What do you say? Mm. Fresh, really good. Yeah. chewy. Fresh. Yeah, they really have a bite. Mmm. Like, I still have to pull the noodles even after cooking this. <laughs> I like it. These are some fresh noodles. So let me tell you guys, this was a lot of fun to make and lagman is definitely a delicious meal. In terms of shape and mouthfeel, I also think I got quite a lot closer to my final goal of making Lanjo style hand pulled noodles. But you know what I also realized? There are no shortcuts in this. In the next episode of the series, I'm gonna give the original Lanjo method a crack. Thank you so much to Julian for joining me on this adventure. Guys, don't forget to check out his channel. He's got some great recipes and I'm gonna see you in the next video. This video was brought to you by Undong's epic Patreon supporters. Don't forget to subscribe and smash the bell for weekly food inspiration from all over the world.